Hello, my name is Connor Franta, and I may be known on the internet for a few things. My passion for felines, my inability to age, my striking green eyes, but what people time and time again recognize me for, my Instagram. This is by far my most requested video, so this week I'm going to give you a complete rundown from start to finish on how I do Instagram. Let's get started. Now for Instagram, people use cameras ranging from big to small to classic to modern. All of them are good for their own reasons, but for me, I like to use my iPhone because it's the only camera that I know that I'm always going to have with me. Two best friends right here. Mm -hmm. People love to ask me how I take my photos, like what is my process when it comes to photography? First I'd like to start off with, this is completely up to the individual. There's no right or wrong way to take a photo. But when you're using something like your iPhone, you're slightly limited, so you need to get creative. Try getting low. Try getting really close. And try something a little more abstract. When I'm taking photos, I tend to be looking for one of the following. Depth, symmetry, color, or contrast. All of those things really catch my eye and they usually stop me dead in my tracks and I have to take a photo of whatever it is that I've seen. This for me is the most fun part about photography. Using the correct apps can completely change how your photos look. So it's really exciting because once you've taken a good photo, it can get 10 times better if you use the right combination of apps. So it's exciting, it's surprising, I love it, it's awesome. And the four main apps that I like to use are ViscoCam, Afterlight, Facetune, and Scroot. ViscoCam tends to be my main photo editing app. I do pretty much the bulk of the work in there. Afterlight I use a lot less, but I typically use it for highlights, grain, and midtones. Basically just those three. For Facetune, I don't actually use it on my face or on my body in general. I use it to remove unwanted objects that happen to be in the photo, objects, marks, anything that's in the sky that I just don't want to be in the photo. And for Scroot, I use it to adjust the perspective of the photo. I can tilt it one way or the other to make it more of a flat, even plane. With everything that we've learned, let's do a little demonstration. I always start my editing process by putting the photo into ViscoCam, opening it up, and just seeing what you can do. Every photo is different, so there's no real set formula to the perfect Instagram photo, so you just gotta play around and see what you can get. I usually will tap through all the filters until I find one I like. My favorite filters are C1, HB2, G3, M5, and P5, but I still tend to go through them all just in case a different one is better for this particular photo. After I pick a photo, I usually move it down to about the 9 or 10 mark because I really don't want to over do it with the filter. I like to play around with the temperature of the photo because generally I like cooler temps on my photos. There's something about a bluish white that I tend to like a little bit better. Then maybe I'll add the contrast up about one or two, don't want to get too carried away. Maybe I'll add the fade up to one or two as well. Then I move on to the tint tool. If there's any green in the photo, I like to move it to the left to highlight the greens. If there's any blue or purples in the photo, I move it to the right. Next I move on to the highlight and shadow functions. Sometimes I like to add the orange function to the highlights because it makes everything pop a little bit more. And for the shadows, I usually add a blue or a red and I only leave it up one or two because I don't want to overdo it again. The skin tool is actually really nice. If your skin looks really bright and red, this one's really great to use. I like to move it over to the right side because it kind of evens out the skin tones if you have any red blemishes. Makes you look a little bit more tan too. Always a good thing. And that's about it for that app. Now we move on to Afterlight. Like I said, for Afterlight, I tend to only use a couple of the functions. I really like the highlight function in Afterlight because it brightens up specifically the white spots in the photo. So if you need a little bit more definition or shine to your photo, use that and move it to the right. I like Afterlight's grain a lot better than ViscoCam's. It adds a nice fade to the photo and grain and doesn't tend to distort it. And then finally, I use Use the highlight in the midtone section. If again your face is a little bit red, you can move it to the left and it kind of makes you look not so red essentially. So that comes in handy as well. For face tune, I tend to use the path tool and the whitening tool. If there's anything white in the photo, I can go over it with the whitening tool and it makes it even more white. For the path tool, if there's anything in the sky, if there's any blemishes or anything like that, you can simply select it and erase it from the photo. If I ever have like a telephone wire or in this photo a tree, I like to erase the little edges to make the sky look perfect. Faking reality since 2010. 
And finally, a new favorite of mine, the Scroot app. This app is an all-in-one perspective tool. So if your photo is a little bit tilted or it's a little bit rotated the wrong way, you can use this app to completely adjust all those functions. It works so well and it's such a last minute detail that most people may not think is necessary, but I really, really enjoy it. And there you have it, folks. That is what I go through every single time I post an Instagram photo. It may seem like a lot of work and a bit ridiculous, but I thoroughly enjoy it. I don't tend to do a whole Instagram theme. I like to capture the moment that's right in front of me, make it look as good as possible, and then just post it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click the subscribe button and the like button down below. It lets me know that you guys care and enjoy content like this. And also make sure to follow me on my Instagram because that's pretty much my favorite social media account and I post on it every day. But really, that's all I got for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to pick those up, leave a comment below. Bye.